Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. This project you see here is a project that I just recorded. Uh, but the thing is, I recorded a 30 minute long tutorial without having my microphone turned on. That's not a great idea. So let's try to do this over again. I'll delete the objects. There we go. And the room. And as you see here, we already have some sprites and a background. We have a box. This is going to be our player object. And we have some asphalt. That's our background. Uh, the reason we use a background is because so we can see that the camera is moving. If the, if the camera is just a, a if the if the background is just a color, then we won't be able to see it move. So let's go ahead and create a room. Assign the nice asphalt background, which is so pretty. I think. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead, create a player object, object player. Um, select the box or anything else you wish as the player object. And let's just make it move really quickly. Uh, add a step event and execute some code. We want it to move like a maze game up, down, left, right with no gravity or anything else. Just very simple movement. So we say we need to check if the, if the arrow keys are pressed and we do that by saying if um, keyboard check VK and then the direction, for example, up. So this will check if the key up is pressed, and if it is, we need to add some speed to the Y axis. Uh, so let's just set up a variable for the move speed here. Move speed equals 6. So back to the step event, we say Y minus equals 6. That Oh, not 6, move speed, of course. We just set up a variable. Yeah. So we will move up with move speed when the key up is pressed. And if keyboard check BK down, then we will move down plus equals move speed. We do the exact same with the X axis, keyboard check, BK left, X minus equals move speed. And if keyboard check BK right, then X plus equals plus equals move speed. Like that. Let's just test if it works. Add your nice player object to the room. There we go. And let's run it. <coughs> so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, as you can see, everything works just as it should. Great. Alright, so now we need to make the camera that will follow the player. And we do that by creating a new object, calling object camera. Um, the only thing that this camera does is to control the view so that it follows the player smoothly, which is what we want in this tutorial. We want a smooth camera. So let's go ahead and focus the camera on the player so that the camera will be the view will be the no sorry the player will be in the middle of the view. Yes. I hope you understood that. It's not that complicated. So the, so the player will be in the center of the camera all the time. We do that by going to the step event. The way you adjust the x and y coordinates of a view is by saying x view x view equals something and view y view equals something. And you might think if we want to focus the view on the player, then I should just write object player dot x and object player dot y. Uh, but that's not exactly the case, because let me just explain this in beautiful paint. If we have the game window here, and you execute this code, set uh, view x view to the player's x and view y view to the player's y then what you get is a, a player that is right here at the top left corner so what we want to do is to add we need to get the the width of the view and the height of the view divide them by two and add them to the uh, x and y coordinates of the player so by that we will get the player in that point instead and that's what we're going to do here. So by doing that we add 
um, the view with view. If you see with view for width divided by two. The same with here, we say height for h view divided by two. Let's see how that works. Oh, we did not enable views. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> views pane, enable views, visible when room starts. Uh, we'll make the view go active all the time. Uh, also, here you can just the size. I use 640, 480, 640, 480. Okay, we, d we don't select the target object since we have a camera that controls the view. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So, let's see how that looks. We also need to put the camera into the room. There we go. Okay, it's not showing up and it's because we need to subtract it instead. There we go. Subtract, subtract. There we go, you see, it's in the center of the view. Hooray! Hooray! But we don't actually want to focus the camera at the player. We want to focus it at the camera and then move the camera. So we just say X and Y here. And then it's focused on the camera instead. And then we move the camera slowly towards the player to make a smooth camera. And we do that by uh, figuring out what is the distance in the x-axis from the camera to the player and what is the distance from the camera to the player in the y-axis and then we divide the distance by a smoothness so that as, as the camera moves closer to the player it will smoothly focus on him. So we set up a variable called smoothness it needs to be equal to 10. 10 is a good value. And down here you say x plus equals the distance on the x axis from the camera to the player, which is object player that x minus x divided by smoothness. And the same with the y plus equals object player dot x minus y minus y divided by smoothness. Great. You see when we run it? You see that it's all smooth. And that's basically how you do a smooth camera. Um, <coughs> you also see if I adjust the smoothness set to something like 1, then it will be completely static. See? Static camera. And if I set to something like 1000, then it will go really, really smooth. Yeah, you see, it's so smooth that I can barely, it can barely follow the player, but it moves. A great value is about 10. Then we get the result. Alright, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please sure to visit my website. There's a link in the description. There are lots of great content there, as well on the YouTube channel, in which I think you should subscribe to if you enjoyed the video. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.